this video will um, derive the equation for a compound interest and solve it, differential equation. Um, we're assuming a, uh, a deposit or an investment that has a uh, constant uh, interest rate R as well as a constant deposit rate K. So for instance, the interest rate could be something like 6% uh, per year, and the deposit rate could be something like um, $5,000 deposited per year. Okay, So we want to track uh, the value of an investment and uh, to determine a differential equation for the amount of money you have in the account. Um, uh, and we're going to do that under the assumption of continuous uh, compounding of interest and continuous depositing of uh, deposits. So that will give us a differential equation. So we start with an equation for the amount of money we have in the account at a time t plus delta t. Okay, So we'll assume here that delta t then is the time interval for which, uh, after which interest is awarded or the return is made, and after which you deposit a certain amount of money into the account. So for instance, delta t can be one month or one twelfth of a year. So every after every one month, you get a certain return on your investment and you deposit an additional amount of money into the account. So the amount of money you have at time t plus delta t in the account is equal to the amount of money you have at time t plus the return or the interest you received on that amount over the time interval delta t. That's the interest rate r times the time interval delta t, right? So if r is 6% um, per year, so 0 0.06 per year, and delta t is one month, delta t would be 1 over 12. So you would receive 0 0.06 times 1 over 12, and then that would be the fraction of the amount of money in the account that you get awarded as interest or as your return. Okay, And then, so this is the, am the initial amount of money in the account, the amount you've earned on interest, and plus the amount you've deposited. So if you de deposit at a rate k, then the amount you've deposited over the time interval delta t is k times delta t. So again, if k is, uh, say, 6,000 per year, and delta t is one month or one twelfth, then you deposit in after one month, you deposit 6,000 divided by 12, which would be $500, okay? So that's the um, discrete equation for the amount of money you have uh, at the time t plus delta t. And then in order to determine the differential equation, we need to uh, limit this as delta t goes to zero. So we try to find a derivative here. So we have t plus delta t. So we subtract s of t from both sides. And we divide through by delta t in order to find a derivative. So what we have left on the right-hand side is an r times an s of t plus a k, because we've divided through by delta t. Okay. Then finally, instead of being awarded a return once a year or once a month or once a day, we take the limit delta t goes to zero so that it becomes continuous. And we obtain finally a differential equation, ds dt equals rs plus k. And to this differential equation, we need an initial condition which will be the amount of money you have in the account initially, the, the lump sum that you initially place into the account, which we will call S0. Okay. So we have a first order differential equation and we have an initial condition. 
this will give us a unique solution. The differential equation is separable and it's also linear. We can choose to solve it uh, as a linear differential equation. We put it in the standard form, ds dt minus rs equals k, right? And then we have s0 equals s naught. And uh, we met, recall how to solve a linear differential equation. We have uh, a particular formula. This is a linear differential equation for y. We compute an integrating factor and we solve for y. So we need to translate that into um, this differential equation. So let me put this up here, right? So we have an uh, integrating factor here. So the integrating factor now, the independent variable is t rather than x, right? s is a function of time. So the integrating factor is the integral from, uh, is e, right, the exponential of the, uh, sorry, the exponential of the integral from t equals 0 to t of p of t now, which is minus r minus r dt, and that's simply e to the minus r t, okay? So that's our integrating factor. And then the solution is our s of t equals 1 over the integrating factor, so e to the r t, times the initial deposit, s naught, plus the integral from 0 to t, the integrating factor, e to the minus rt times the right hand side which is k dt right okay so we've used our formula for first order equations um, we can integrate this right so the integral of e to the minus rt dt is minus 1 over r e to the minus rt from 0 to t, which becomes, um, if we use that minus sign, we have a 1 over r, and then the lower limit is 1 minus the upper limit is e to the minus rt, right? Okay, so then we get our solution. So s of t uh, we can multiply through by e to the rt, so it's s naught e to the rt uh, plus we can multiply through by e to the rt, we have a k over r e to the rt and then uh, times 1 minus e to the minus rt. Okay, so this gives us how much our in investment account is worth at time t, right? The first term, s naught e to the rt, is just the compounding of the initial investment, s naught. The second term is the compounding of the money that you have added to the account with rate k, okay? So it's interesting to, uh, to look at this uh, in terms of some numbers, right? So let's ask the, the following question. So let me see if I can leave this formula out here. We ask the question, um, how much money do we need to contribute annually to a retirement fund in order to retire with a million dollars in savings, okay? So we will um, consider money in today's dollar so uh, we can uh, forget about inflation. Everything's in today's dollars. So um, let's see. So we want to work from age, say, 25 to 65, so 40 years of work. Okay, um, we start off with no money, right, um, and 
and uh, after uh, this will be our capital T of 40 years so after 40 years we want to have a million dollars so after 40 years we want to have a million US dollars okay that's a nice amount of money to have in your account at retirement so a million in today's dollars so of course we need to know what sort of return we're getting on our retirement fund so let's take a reasonable return not too high not too low we'll take R equals uh, six percent per year return so that's 0 0.06 per year and we want to find K, okay? That means we want to find uh, how much are we supposed to deposit. So that gives us our equation, right? So S0 is 0. So we have uh, S of T is equal to um, K over R, E to the R T, capital T. 1 minus e to the minus r capital T. Solve this equation for k. So k, the rate at which we deposit money, is going to be equal to r times the amount of money we have at retirement divided by e to the r t times 1 minus e to the minus r t. And that will be uh, 0. 0 0.06 times 1 million over e to the 0 0.06 times 40 years times 1 minus e to the minus 0 0.06 times 40. Okay. So k works out to five thousand nine hundred and eighty six dollars per year which is approximately six thousand per year okay so if if you work for um, 40 years and you want to uh, you're earning six percent on your money in order to achieve a uh, million dollars at retirement you needed to have contributed six thousand dollars per year okay so how much money did you actually deposit so how much contributed right this is an interesting question this is only six thousand times forty years right so you've contributed two hundred and forty thousand dollars right and how much investment income well that's the one million minus two hundred and forty thousand so that's seven hundred and sixty thousand okay so your money you've earned from investment is almost three times the amount of money that you contributed right this is an important lesson if you're earning uh, six percent per annum over 40 years most of the money by a factor of three that you will have in your retirement fund at retirement comes from your gain on your investment not from the amount you contributed you contributed 240,000 over your lifetime but your retirement income your retirement account has contributed 760,000 from your investments so the take home message here is that it's almost more important to worry about how you invest your money than it is to how you earn it okay that's the differential that's the uh, differential equation solution for um, compound interest